All right, welcome back one last time for Mike's Toy Case, Mach A Toys, uh, Green Giant Type 61 Combiner Review, also known as Devastator. And this is the video where I put it all together. So I've got all of Devastator's bits here. I'm just gonna kind of start off. I've, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to make this a lot bigger. Hold on, because he is just gigantic. So here we go, and we're gonna start with the feet uh, and the crotch. So I'm gonna get this out of the way here. So this is long haul, and it, and if you wanna know how to get them in these modes, if you if you didn't watch any of the other reviews, I basically transformed them into these at the end of the other reviews. So we're gonna start here. So basically, what happens is this is his combined report, and it just snaps right in, and you can hear it snap, and you can see. He's got ratchets, and you can pull it. It does not come. Oh, it does come off. If you try really hard. Um, he does have button releases on the side, and then we'll do the same thing with Mixmaster here. Just gonna push it in. Push it. Push it real good. Yeah, and that's solid. That's it. All right. So that's that's his lower half, and you can see I'm already almost off the camera, so I have to raise it up a little bit. So next we're going to add on a hook, and um, one of the things here, before I do this, I'm going to go ahead and take this head off. This is the head it comes on, this is the, the official head that is part of the robot, like this is part of his transformation because there's his foot there, but this version came with an alternate head, and I'm just going to go ahead and pop that on here, it just pops right on the ball joint, and this head is way superior in every way. It's a little bigger, which I feel makes it a little more accurate in size. So I am I'll get into the different features of, of the head in just a moment. I just had to get it kind of straightened out. So to hook this on and this is man, I kinda wanna get this this part kind of threw me off a little bit here. There are these little combiner tabs and they just hook right into the bottom right into the bottom of hook here but you have to press there's buttons on the sides you have to press the buttons on to get them in properly like they don't just snap on you can't push them on and once you get them in it's solid like you can pick it up by this it won't fall off but you have you have to do that the proper way first okay so we've almost got Devastator together, we have to do the arms, and we already have the arms kind of done here. So same kind of thing here, on the back, there's these little buttons to push inside. Inside, and this one's actually harder to get to, it's just right there. That is how the arms stay in, and they, they stay upright very uh, with if you don't do it right the arms are loose and they don't they won't move up and down because it won't catch the gears inside here so if you press it and then move it in as far as it'll go and then let go you can see that it it ratchets once you get it in properly and we just do the same thing over here. Push that in and then push it in as far as it'll go. And this one actually has trouble staying in that little thing. So <clears throat> there we are. He's just so big. So let's just do, let's go ahead, let's do size comparison. So he's just under a foot, uh, which is just, it's huge. He's huge. Uh, he's very stable, like I said earlier. He does not want to fall over that easily. I'm just kind of positioning him cause, so I, can, I feel like he's a little disproportionate. All right, there we go. So um, let's almost compare him to. We've got Masterpiece Wheeljack here. As you can see, he ba basically comes up to just below his waist. We've got Legends. 
shrapnel there, and I feel like that's more like cartoon accurate there. A legends, these guys scale well actually with the legends figures, um, because that's that's about the height he would be, uh, from what I get, from what I gather. Uh, and I guess you know just for fun, we'll put Scoop in here. He's just so small. And you know what? Just because we haven't had like a Voyager size, let me transform him super quick. This is because I've been using him the whole time, and he's a construction vehicle. It's going to show you this is that's a Generation Scoop. He, and he is like a deluxe size. He's the, the same size as most of these guys, just in robot mode. Like the the arms, definitely. So let's go over articulation. So he's got tons of articulation. Obviously his head, and let's talk about his head real quick. So this head is a little bigger than the other head, and I have that right here. It's a little bigger, which I feel makes it more in scale, really, without it's supposed to be. It has a visor that you can actually kind of, because the the in the cartoon, Devastator's head is different every time Devastator forms. Sometimes he has a visor, sometimes he doesn't have a visor. His first appearance just looked goofy as fuck. Um, and this one actually, the mouth opens up. To get, you can make it like he's screaming or something. Um, I kind of like that better because when it's closed, it just looks like he's have, he has like a goofy smile. Um, anyway, so that's his head. Uh, he has arm articulation. And the arms, you can kind of pose how you want. I've seen some people, because these are separate, like you can pull these out a little bit if you prefer them more on the shoulders rather than being the actual arms. I prefer more of a G1 look where this becomes the arm, so I push it in a lot further. Um, more than that, I push it in more like this one. I don't know why I can't get it back. There it goes. But you can, I mean, it's, it's, if you buy it, it's your figure. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, that's just how I prefer it, because that's how it was on the G1. Uh, let's see. He has elbow articulation. Lots of it. His fingers move. Not as well as I'd hope. Like, they're always kind of curled like, like this. Like, he's got arthritis, like severe arthritis. Um, but it, it works well for when he's holding stuff. Um, he does actually have waist articulation here. Uh, and that's actually basically just uh, long hauls waist articulation. Um, he does have leg movement. And you hear the ratchets there, forward and back. He has upper thigh swivel. He has knee. Uh, and he has ankle pivot. So he basically has kind of the same articulation that most of the uh, other Constructicons have themselves, which is cool that they could do that. Um, they could figure out a way to do the same articulation in a giant, uh, a giant like this. And this guy is a giant. Uh, so last, uh, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to show you his mace weapon. So I just want to show you like his... <laughs> He can, they can use all our gun bits. You can give him a mace to hold of sorts, kind of made out of his different weapons. Um, it's kind of silly, not my favorite thing to do, but it's kind of neat that it's there. And before we get into making his gun, which is my favorite part, I just kind of want to show you what you can do, like I said earlier, with these bits here. You can give him screwdriver hands. The other one is a flathead. It's on the other side. Uh, it does the same thing. So I mean that's kind of neat. Again, I mean it makes sense because he's he makes he's a construction. He's made out of construction vehicles, but it's just it's not something I really care to do all that often. But I just want to show you that you can do it if you want to. Um, if you want to, you have a couple options with this guy. There is a break right here and you can kind of push this up if you don't want it sticking super far out uh, this just pegs back on here and you can have him kind of like this 
which is usually how I have them displayed. I kind of like that a little, a little better. Um, but you can just push it out like this and shorten it up, and you can have it like that if you want to. It does just it sticks out a little bit, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. So, real quick, all of his little his little gun bits and pieces. There's six guns. There's basically, well, there's technically there's only like three different guns uh, and they double up. So first thing you've got these weird round ones like this and they just peg together. And that closes up. Next thing is you have these like machine guns. Little Uzi looking guns. And they peg together like so. And then you have these little blaster looking guns. They just kind of look like normal blasters. And they peg together like so. So these go into here. And you have a, a, kind of a bigger gun. And then this pegs in right there. And then you have his blaster. You can see I've got repro labels on here. So the barrel's got like a silver lining here. There's also uh, some detailing around there. And there's a little sticker to go around the midsection here. There's also, if you want to, you can push out the barrels. It's going to give them a longer gun. But you don't have to. I kind of like it better short. And it's very accurate to how his gun looked in the cartoon. So I said go ahead and put it in this hand right here. And that's it. That is Make Toys Green Giant Type 61 with repro labels on here. And just real quick you can see I mean you can see all the repro labels uh, from all of them. They just kind of pop out and give it that extra little detail. I like all the little uh, Decepticon symbols. I'm supposed to have that popped out a little bit. Uh, it just makes it look, you know, more like it's an actual transformer, which it pretty much is, even though it's not. This whole long endeavor has been my Maki Toys Green Giant Type 61, not Devastator, Devastator review, uh, with repro labels. One of the cool things I do like about repro labels. And I guess it's a little plug for repro labels, is that they're they're surprisingly, despite how many small stickers there are, they're surprisingly easy to put on. Um, they're forgiving; you can easily take them off and put them back on without ruining the whole thing. I do recommend having an X-Acto knife if you have one; it makes it easier. But very forgiving. I'm not very good at putting stickers on, and I feel like I did a decent job doing these stickers. At least decent enough for me, and that's all that matters. Cool. Well, that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.